how to share an internet connection in Windows 7. The ICS or internet connection sharing is used for sharing internet connection on one computer to another. It is very easy to configure and it also needs two ethernet cards on the first computer which is sharing the internet connection and it is very cost effective. We need not have to use any routers or switches to enable internet connection sharing. This is a typical scenario where we can share an internet connection. You can see that in the first computer my public interface or an ethernet card is connected to the internet through a modem and the second ethernet card is connected to another computer. So this internet connection on my public interface will be shared to the second computer through the private interface. So let's see how we can do this on a Windows 7 computer now. I am now logged on to a Windows 7 computer where I have two Ethernet cards. I will show you them now. I will open up the network and sharing center. I will go to the change adapter settings. You can see two network cards, internet and local. And the internet network connection is connected to internet through a modem. And the local Ethernet card or Ethernet connection is connected to my second PC directly. So in the network and sharing center you will be able to see that my, my computer is connected to internet through the connection called internet and the local connection is now directly connected to a computer and it's not on now so that's why it states that no network access. So what we have to do is we have to share the internet connection through this connection through this internet connection to this local area connection for that you have to just right click on this connection and take the properties here you will be able to see this sharing tab click on allow other network users to connect through this computer's internet connection click on ok and that's all you have to do you have now shared your internet connection from this PC to the local connection which is connected to your second PC and when you switch on this, that computer and use obtain automatically for the IP configuration you will be able to access the internet so we will check that so I can now close out of this and I will start the second computer and I will start recording in that so see you there I am on the second computer now and I have only one network card here we can go to the network and sharing center you can already see that I am connected to internet automatically. I haven't done any configurations in this computer. We will go to the properties of the local area connection and we will check the IP version 4 settings. So I click on the IP version 4 and click on properties. You can see that I have selected the obtain an IP address automatically, obtain DNS servers automatically. And this computer is directly connected to the second ethernet adapter of our first computer as in the network diagram we will check the ip address of this computer by clicking the details and the ip version 4 address indicates that it has got an address 192.168.137.13 and the default gateway is 192.168.13.7 dns servers is given as 192.168.137.1 so from this we can understand that the second ethernet card is giving these IP address and default gateway and DNS servers to this computer automatically. So this is how you share the internet connection in a small network or in a, in a network where you have only two computers. You don't have to buy any switches, you don't have to buy any routers or anything for this. It is very simple to configure, you just have to enable that ICS on the first network card through which you get the internet on the first computer and just connect the second computer directly to the second ethernet card you don't have to configure anything else i hope this was informative for you thank you for watching